Hey, I'm Christopher, and here at Made by Chance, we're in the process of renovating a storage room into a mother-in-law unit, and today I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make a faux beam to go across the peak of this ceiling inside what's gonna be the bedroom. So let's get to it. So I got this 12 inch wide piece of premium pine that we're gonna actually rip down into three different pieces, uh, put some miters on those edges and join it up to where it looks like a solid beam and then we'll get it stained up to where it really looks like a dark piece of wood. All right, so what I wanna do is actually make the width at the bottom to be five and three quarters inch wide. So I first found the center of this board and then I went two and seven eighths on either direction, made a little line, continued that line down the thickness of the board. And then I just made a 45 degree angle that tapers outward that meets that five and three quarters inch width. So now if you were to look from the bottom of the board, you would see five and three quarters inch wide. And whenever I cut these ends off, these are just gonna flip. So this one will come over here, be the vertical piece on that side. This piece will come over here, be the vertical piece on this side. And then I can taper these ends as needed so that they fit flush with the ceiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through the table saw um, with the blade tilted at a 45 degree angle and cut right along these lines um, all the way down this board. And that should give me that center piece like we're wanting. So the idea would be this piece will wind up attaching there. And this piece will attach something like that. And that'll give us a box that we can actually run electrical through. And then we can also, uh, from the bottom uh, where my hand is, it'll actually look like a beam, I think, once we stain it all. So I cut some pieces of two by four that I'm gonna use as little supports that are gonna go inside this to kind of help uh, hold everything square. And so what I'm gonna do is glue these two down and the ones on the ends, I'm actually gonna leave detached and I'm gonna anchor those to the sides of the wall. And then whenever I actually go to insert this, I basically just bump them right up to those end pieces and then I can screw them to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down, give them about 30 minutes to an hour to dry. And then I'll go ahead and glue these sides on. Now I'm going to be installing a ceiling fan right in the middle of this beam, so I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole through it to wrap my electrical. But if you're not going to be installing any lighting or a ceiling fan, then you can go ahead and install the beam as is. Alright, so I've cut these little mounting braces and I've actually anchored them to the studs on the wall with two screws. And so what I'm going to do is actually take that beam push it up right up against these and put a few screws on the sides and the bottom to actually hold it in place. And the idea would be the sheetrock is actually gonna help hide those screws. 
So the long edges of the box actually fit pretty flush with the ceiling, so I didn't actually have to taper those edges any. Um, so we went ahead and just installed it as is, but if you didn't get a nice clean flush uh, mount against the ceiling edges, then you'd probably wanna go ahead and taper those outside edges like I was talking about earlier to make sure it was nice and seamless. So here's a quick tip for you. We actually installed the other half of this piece of sheetrock that we cut at an angle backwards with the paper side facing out. And we were able to do this because we're doing two layers of sheetrock for sound insulation. So it doesn't really affect how you're gonna paint it since it'll be covered up with another layer of sheetrock. We're really happy with how this project turned out. It adds to the charm of this small Airbnb slash mother-in-law unit. This was a really easy build in the end and it did great at hiding the electrical as well as the seams of the pitch of the roof. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at what I got queued up for you right here. And until next time, take a chance and make something.